Hey, Shalom, Brother Ara coming to you with another video. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. And that's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And who rule well. Shalom to all you Akiyam and you Akwa, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. Always remember. No matter what the Lord got us. And that's, you know, when I say that I'm speaking to the hopeful elect, the believers. Okay. Just want to flow through the spirit, you know, and uh, bring out a few scriptures, Lord will and be edified. Now we read Psalm, the 34th chapter. It says, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. You know, that poor man represents the nation of Israel specifically the elect okay we're we're that poor that poor man that's crying you know for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof we're praying for the lord to protect us we're praying for the lord to deliver us we're praying for the lord to bring forth the kingdom now in these times you know as we're crying for the lord to have mercy on us we just came out of passover we know there's going to be troubles we know there's going to be Jacob's trouble. We know that there's going to be a famine. All hell is about to break loose. But the Lord says he's going to save him out of all his troubles. Now, when you read verse 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So those who fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh which the Lord requires us to do, all right, it's a, a trait that the Lord uh, shows favor to, okay, those who are obedient, you know, he's going to have angels, which he, he has angels encamped around us now. Think about the, 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 you know, the moments where we've escaped death, you know, we could have been, you know, hit by 18 wheeler or, you know, we could have lost our lives in any other scenario, but the angels are encamped around us. You know, keeping those uh, spirits created for vengeance away from us, luring us in the, or, or putting us in the right direction rather than going somewhere where we could get harmed. Verse eight says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. No experience and see, you know, uh, is, did not the elders obtain a good report? They experienced, you know, our forefathers experienced the beauty of trusting in the Lord, right? It said, blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Highly favored is the man that put their trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Verse 9 says, O fear the Lord, ye his saints, which are the Israelites. Okay, it says, for there is no want to them that fear him. So we're going to go through sufferings, right? We're going to have our ups and downs. We're going to have our struggles. We're going to have to experience hardships and adversities. But remember, the things that we need, the Lord is going to provide. And ultimately, what we desire to have is salvation. Now, we keep suffering for righteousness sake, keep fearing the Lord, trusting him. And we finish our course. The Lord is going to give us what we want and desire, which is ultimately salvation. Verse 10 says, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Okay. Shall not want any good thing. Verse 11 says, come ye children, hearken unto me. Listen, listen to the Lord. <laughs> and the Lord is speaking through his men. This order that's being set up. Well, this is a, an order that's being set up. For the physical kingdom to come. You know, the scriptures say, let everything be done decently and in order. You know, the Lord is speaking through his men. And, you know, you got the hopeful elect who are willing to be obedient and fall in place, fall in line. Okay? Because the Lord speaks to his men. And, and, and there's a lot of uh, direction that's being put, put out through the righteous men the Lord set up the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, right? That leadership that's being established, the Lord is speaking through these men. 
Okay, it says, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. See, and the fear of the Lord is being taught by his prophets. Okay, the men who are preaching 100% truth according to the Bible. What do we always say? Fear the Lord. Okay, now remember the accounts of our forefathers. Sirach, the second chapter. <laughs> Been meditating on this scripture, uh, this chapter a lot lately. Okay, Sirach 2 and 1 says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. When you come to serve the Lord, we got to remember, <laughs> make our minds ready for the, the things that's going to come our way. The battles that we're going to have to face. Verse 2 says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. You know, this is a fight. This is a battle. But we got to constantly suffer and patiently suffer through these things. And it takes us having a, our mind right. You don't ever want to go through sufferings without your mind right. Remember, wisdom and, <clears throat> wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. It really begins with fear. Fear is wisdom. So we need our, our mind right to go through these, these sufferings. It says, and make not haste in the time of trouble. So when troubling times come, which we're seeing examples of that now, we know not to make haste. Wait on the Lord. <laughs> Did not the Lord said he will be our guide? Verse 3 says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Okay, so always remember, no matter what, the Lord got us. But we got to cleave unto him. We got to uh, hold fast, you know? Verse 4 says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. You know, that's the mindset that we got to be in. The struggles and sufferings that we're going to face, the afflictions. We got persecutions coming. You know, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to point their fingers at us. You know, the believers. <laughs> but whatever happens, some of us are going to get thrown into prison. Some of us are going to be faced with death. Remember, take it cheerfully. It says, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. You know, we got to be, we got to wait. <laughs> we got to wait through these um, hardships and adversities. These low estates, you know, ultimately benefit comes out of this edification. Experiences, good report. Verse five says, for gold is tried in fire. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So, you know, men are built for adversity. Men are built for adversity, you know, and, you know, we uh, have to set that example. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. We have to set that example amongst Israel. Israel has a tendency to fold under pressure, you know, in this in this world. OK, and Lord willing, you know, we're some of those men. You know, putting our, our, our lives on the line for this and truly showing the Lord that we really want to, you know, serve him by any means necessary. So, of course, that comes with, you know, having to go through persecutions and sufferings, you know, temptations, being brought to a low estate. OK, and what don't kill you make you better, make you stronger. Verse 6 says, believe in him and he will help thee. See, do we believe faith? You know, without faith, it is impossible to please him. So we want help from the Lord. We got to have faith that the Lord is going to come through for us. Order thy way aright and trust in him. That speaks for itself, right? It says, verse 7, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. So we fear the Lord, right? So when we go through these different experiences and situations, we got to wait. Might some of us going to get locked up for a period of time. Who knows how long it could be? 
But remember, wait, waiting on the Lord is important. Okay? Waiting on the Lord for whatever our experiences are. It says, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Don't fold. No. Don't don't uh get become impatient. We are try we you know we're truly trying to receive salvation and um you know we're gonna see that the Lord is gonna show his mercy um to a certain specific group, man, that elect membership that elect member or members. All right. Verse eight says, He that fear the Lord believe in, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. No, he's all about loyalty. Those that fear him, you know, praying that I'm a part of that number, and continue to fear the Lord, have faith in him. And the reward ultimately of salvation, the Lord is going to come through on that. Verse 9 says, He that fear the Lord, hope for good. We're looking for good. It says, and for everlasting joy and mercy. Want, want the everlasting life, man. That, that joy, that mercy, loving kindness. Okay. Now, the last one that I want to bring out here, verse 10, says, look at the generations of old and see. You know, reflect on our forefathers. You know, those great men that the Lord came through for. You know, Job, man, Job suffered. He showed us how important it was to when you get brought, brought down to a low estate that what, even though it hurts in the flesh, suffer through it and patiently, you know, um, wait on the Lord. No matter what, don't fold. And what by meaning don't fold, meaning, you know, you don't turn your back on the Lord. Don't lose your faith. That's one of the examples, you know. Look at uh, Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel and the lion's den. Elijah, Elisha. Look at all these great men, you know, who are our forefathers that put their trust in the Lord. It says, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Were they put to shame? You already know the answer to that. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? You know, would the Lord abandon his faithful and uh, fearful servant who are fear who's fearing him? Who shows a great uh, amount of respect for the Lord? Would the Lord turn his back on that uh, faithful servant? Caleb and, and Joshua, those men who truly have uh, fear of the Lord and, and trusted the Lord. Did the Lord leave them abandoned? It says, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Why would the Lord hate you calling on him? <laughs> That's what we're doing in these times. We have those, those traits, Israel. We have those beautiful traits, those of us who are uh, fearing him. And Lord willing, we continue on. I mean, we just, again, came out of Passover. So much edification came from Passover, and a lot more things are happening now. Lord is turning up, man. So no matter what, the Lord is going to come through for us. The Lord got us. Do you believe? All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.